Let's look truth in the eye. Is Tobey Maguire's career dead? Was he blacklisted by Hollywood? Did his gambling habits end his reputation? Just 10 years ago, Tobey Maguire was an A-list actor, fresh from his late 90s and 2000s fame, and fresher still from the overwhelming success of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man trilogy. In an ironic twist of fate, Maguire's career simmered down at the exact same time when superhero films were just beginning to get hot. <laughs> so what is Tobey Maguire up to today? Why don't we see more of Tobey Maguire these days? He has been sort of typecast for his boyish looks, and his movies weren't that commercially successful. Pre and post Spider-Man, Maguire has enjoyed a rather varied career, that's true. He was nominated for a Golden Globe for his role as an embattled soldier in Brothers, a psychological drama. This was the actor's return to more dramatic roles, akin to his appearances in Seabiscuit, Pleasantville, and The Cider House Rules. Maguire also starred in romantic comedy The Details, which received mixed critical reviews and earned a little over $63,000. In the following couple of years, Toby took supporting roles in Labor Day and The Great Gatsby. Gatsby gave him the opportunity to reunite on screen with his close friend Leonardo DiCaprio after the 1993 movie This Boy's Life. Financially, Gatsby did earn a profit, with an all-star cast and all the media hype. But it didn't earn the status of a blockbuster, as was expected. Maguire had a dual role as a producer and lead actor in Pawn Sacrifice, a Cold War-era drama about American chess player Bobby Fischer. Unfortunately, the film made a measly $5.6 million against its $19 million budget. And yes, Maguire is famous for his charming boyish looks, and sort of never grew out of them. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio, who despite his eternal baby face took on grittier roles. But Maguire? Kind of always playing a slightly older version of his character from the Cider House Rules, which makes it more difficult for the audience to connect with him. Maguire's gambling habits gave him bad press. In 2014, a book was released, Molly's Game, the true story of the 26-year-old woman behind the most exclusive high-stakes underground poker game in the world. Author Molly Bloom, aka Poker Princess, once ran an illegal high-stakes poker game in LA, which attracted wealthy individuals and Hollywood celebrities, including, you guessed it, Tobey Maguire. Bloom's portrayal of Maguire isn't kind. In her book, he comes off as a backstabbing, manipulative, and entitled participant, a sore winner. According to Bloom, it was a normal thing for Maguire to make her bark like a seal for tips, or exploit other players by taking on their debt in an extortionately bad deal. To add insult to injury, Maguire reportedly stole the game from Bloom. Maguire and his buddies were sued after a fellow player, Ponzi schemer Bradley Ruderman, had lost about $5.2 million in poker ring. The actor managed to settle his poker-related lawsuit out of court back in 2012, and looks like he has put the story behind him. He's a dad. At the age of 44, Maguire is a divorced father of two. Despite their separation, the actor and his ex-wife, jewelry designer Jennifer Meyer, say they remain best of friends. We really share in everything. He's amazing. He's the greatest dad in the world, so he makes it very easy. Their main focus is their kids, and they co-parent successfully. Don't worry, he stays in the business, but prefers to stay behind the camera. Having seemingly retired from acting, Maguire established his own production company, Material Pictures. They are filming movies and also have plans for TV, attracting names such as Damien Chazelle and Amy Adams. In a recent interview with Hollywood Reporter, Maguire said he is up to doing the things that excite him, whatever he feels called to, quote, that may or may not fit in any kind of box, unquote. Is Tobey Maguire done with Spider-Man? Three contemporary actors have tried on Spidey's red and blue suit, Maguire, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield, as the 2012 Amazing Spider-Man. Curiously, Holland has expressed enthusiastic support of a multiverse crossover, with Maguire and Garfield joining him as guest Spider-Man from alternate dimensions. The producers say there are indeed endless possibilities to tweak the idea. Spidey or no Spidey, we are looking forward to seeing Tobey Maguire's name more often, either as an actor or as a producer. Subscribe to our channel for more goodies.